Hello there everybody, welcome back to the Reldrick Geo channel. Today we're going to be reacting to a India in Pixels video. This one, as you could probably have seen by the title and thumbnail, is all about queerness. Let's understand queerness to be exact. This is the name of the video I'm going to go ahead and react to. Uh, this has been requested of me a couple times and of course, you know, going through my ever-growing list of recommended videos uh this one stood out to me and i decided hey why not let's go ahead and give it a shot give it a watch today uh now to come from uh, my understanding of queerness i guess you could say um is I i'm not queer i'm straight um i've only ever dated women so you know i'm not queer myself but i do have i, ha I had had a lot of friends that were queer um i have family that is queer and by queer i mean you know uh, lesbian, gay, whatever it may be. Uh, in the U.S., queerness is rather open. Um, it's rather accepted nowadays. Some may say that it's not, but it, it is widely regarded. Widely, widely, widely regarded in the U.S. Uh, corporations, you know, are accepting of it. People are accepting of it. There's, you know, holidays and entire months dedicated to, you know, queer awareness. And um, I don't know too much about queerness in other countries. I know in some countries, you know, it's looked down upon. It's even illegal in some countries. And when it comes to countries like India, where I'm trying to learn as much as I can about India, it's not something I know very much about. So I'm hoping that this India in Pixel video will shed a little bit more light on the whole, I don't know, queerness situation going on, <laughs> I guess you could say. Uh, but without further ado... Why don't we just go ahead and get started? So the video does state from the very beginning, this video discusses some sensitive topics. Viewer discretion is requested. Oh, also on another note, surprisingly, I think this is the first indie and pixel video that I've watched. So uh, interesting first choice, I guess. We are all in a gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. Oh, oh my God. Okay, we'll just, <laughs> we'll just let it play. Okay. Disgust. Okay. That, this is a great image. This is like the scrunched up face. This is, this is like perfection. भारत मुनि के नाट्य शास्त्र में जीवन के नौ प्रमुख इमोशंस को डिस्क्राइब किया गया है हर इंडियन आर्ट फॉर्म में हमें इन्हीं रसों का खेल देखने को मिलता है द स्मार्ट वन अमाउंट यू मस्ट है इन नौ रसों को पॉपुलरली नवरस भी कहा जाता है कारुण्यम हास्यम अद्भुतम शांतम रौद्रम भयानकम वीरम श्रृंगार एंड फाइनली आता है हमारे स्टोरी का हीरो यानी डिस्कस्ट Disgust is probably the most important okay. emotion in the world. More important than basic emotions like joy or sadness. अगर आप disgust का funda समझ जाओ, then you will understand why people behave the way that they do, and you can even predict whether they are going to vote for BJP or Congress. Intrigue? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I I see where they're getting. Stay with me. Well, basics से start करते हैं. What is disgust? Typically, जब आप कुछ घिनौना दृश्य देखो, जिससे आपको उल्टी आने लगे, then you are experiencing disgust. Like you did in the beginning of the video. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I it, it wasn't necessarily disgust. It was just more of um, shock. Like I wasn't expecting that to be the 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 thing up front. You know, <laughs> the, the the main spectacle. I guess. Usually, हम इन चीजों को disgusting कहते हैं. But to be technical, that emotion is a subset of disgust called distaste. Researchers distaste. believe that distaste humans may a disease avoidant mechanism ki tarah utpann hui. Or iske bina human survival impossible hota. For example, agar hume distaste ya disgust feel nahi hota, to hum kuch bhi sada gala khana kha jate aur tamam bimariyon ka shikar ho jate. Disgust ki tarah fear bhi ek survival based emotion hai. 
अगर हमें डर नहीं लगता तो जब कुछ खतरनाक हमारे सामने आता है जैसा कि एक हंकार शेर तो हम जी जान से भागते नहीं और शेर का शिकार बन जाते हैं देर फोर बोथ फ्यर एंड डिस्कस्ट हमें डेंजर से बचाते हैं बट hmm. इन दोनों में दो की डिफरेंसेस हैं। पहला एक इमोशनल डिफरेंस रिसर्चर रॉबर्ट ब्लूचक ने थियराइज किया है की कि कलर्स की तरह इमोशन को भी एक व्हील में प्लेस किया जा सकता है जैसे जैसे आप सेंटर से रेडियली बाहर जाओ वैसे वैसे इमोशन की इंटेंसिटी Grief and terror is amazement and that makes sense. Ecstasy and terror is admiration. I don't know about that one. Ek ghatti jaati hai. Side by side emotion. Vigilance and loathing is rage. Huh. इंटरेस्टिंग एक दूसरे से रिलेटेड होते हैं और डायमेट्रिकली ऑपोजिट इमोशंस एक दूसरे के ऑपोजिट होते हैं फॉर एग्जांपल जॉय का इंटेंस वर्जन इज एक्सटेसी एंड अ लोअर वर्जन इज सेरेनिटी जॉय इज रिलेटेड टू एंटिसिपेशन एंड ट्रस्ट एंड जॉय का उल्टा इज सैडनेस We observe hmm. that fear and disgust यहाँ दो different areas में present है जहाँ fear का opposite होता है anger, वहीं disgust का opposite होता है trust. Therefore, disgust essentially is the lack of trust, while fear is the lack of anger. Second neurological difference. Fear or disgust brain के completely दो different areas में उत्पन्न होते हैं जहाँ uh, fear I, I, I didn't know this either. Two different spectrums of the brain. टिवेट होता है आपकी एमिगडिला में व्हिच इज लाइक द अलार्म सिस्टम ऑफ योर ब्रेन वही डिस्कस डिटेक्ट होता है आपके इंसुला में अ काइंड ऑफ इमोशनल जीपीएस ऑफ योर ब्रेन एमिगडिला यानी आपका फ्यूर सेंटर इज पार्ट ऑफ योर रेप्टिलियन ब्रेन ये ब्रेन द द रेप्टिलियन ब्रेन द सबसे पुराना पार्ट है एंड सो इट हैंडल्स बेसिक थिंग्स लाइक हंगर थर्स्ट सेक्स एटसेट्रा द इंसुला ऑन द अदर हैंड इज पार्ट ऑफ द मैमेलियन ब्रेन यानी कि ब्रेन का वो पार्ट जो मैमल्स में ही डेवलप हुआ था यू नो मैमल्स जो अपने बच्चों को ब्रेस्ट फीड कर एंड जिनमें इमोशन एक की पार्ट प्ले करता है सो द इंसुला इज पार्ट ऑफ द मेमेलियन ब्रेन एंड इट इज मच मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स देन योर रेप्टिलियन ब्रेन सो दे फोर वाइल फ्यूर एंड डिस्कस्ट बोथ कीप एस अवे फ्रॉम हार्मफुल थिंग्स डिस्कस्ट इज अ मोर कॉम्प्लेक्स इमोशन देन फ्यूर For example, fear is always the same. Dar lagna. It's But disgust ki many flavors exist. It has been found for example that insula gets triggered when we see distasteful things. But it is also triggered when we see immoral things or impure things. In fact, Professor Paul Rosen, who has specialized on the theory of disgust, says that disgust evolves culturally and develops from a system to protect the body from harm to a system that protects the soul from harm. Yani ki disgust ek sharirik roop mein hi nahi, balki ek antarik, mansik aur ek aatmiya roop mein bhi prastut hota hai. The things that cause us physical harm evoke distaste and the things that cause us spiritual harm cause disgust now i want to talk hmm. about a specific scenario here gender roles take these two examples here now i have a feeling that this would bother some of you why is it that a woman with facial hair or a man dressed as a woman can cause disgust in some people in such a intense way what is it about a woman acting unwomanly like or a man acting unmanly like that causes such a strong reaction in us and if you're feeling something ajeeb then pay attention to what you're feeling I don't think anyone here is afraid of these pictures. The emotion isn't fear, it is disgust. And that leads me to me making the claim that the term homophobia actually is an incorrect term. It's there always is nothing called homophobia. <clears throat> there isn't so much fear as in phobia as there is disgust for homosexuality. In fact, that is made abundantly clear when you look at comments made by people who disapprove of homosexuality. This is the Ugandan president for example. I like the this. I I've, I've seen this clip for homosexuality. Do you personally dislike homosexuals of course they are disgusting what 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 sort of people are they how can you go uh, I, i don't i never knew what they were doing that's how i've been told recently that So recently there never knew what they were doing in India regarding homosexuality because of the ongoing same sex marriage arguments and to be honest I couldn't watch any of these debates because I think these discussions start and end on a very superficial aspect on one side people say this is our right and this is our freedom and the other side says this is not in our culture this is wrong over and over again and hmm. sometimes I think these kind of debates don't change is this AI He doesn't have it tagged as for as um, with AI images. Anyone's mind it looks and like they AI. They end up making everyone angry. So I thought That's I would do a deep dive from an academic perspective without being too quick to label people as homophobic or unnatural or deviant. All of that. Homo. 
sexuality. Queer Sorry, I was just I was more distracted by the AI. What 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 did what did he just say there? To label people as homophobic or unnatural or deviant, all of that. Homosexuality, queerness. What the hell are these things? And what is the point of queerness? To understand this, we'll have to deep dive, and we'll really have to understand these terms: sex, gender, sexual orientation, gender identity. Kya hai ye cheez hai? And I know I can already sense some of you raising eyebrows, thinking, "Oh, here goes the leftist brainwashing." But trust me, I'll keep it academic and as non-political as oh, possible. Oh wow! So stay with me. Biologically, there are two sexes. It, it's it's surprising to me that you know this is so associated with like leftism, because like even in the U.S., right? Like, sure. It was associated with leftism, you know, decades ago. But even now, there's, you know, it, the, like I said, queerness is even accepted by people on, you know, right-leaning um, the, the political spectrum, right? Um, it, it's very common, actually, in the right-leaning spaces uh, in politics in the U.S. Uh, some major prominent, you know, people on the right are were are queer, so... This is interesting. Males and females. Universally, males have XY chromosomes and females have XX chromosomes. But okay, but it's not necessarily okay. So he's psychology of gender. So gender isn't you know necessarily queerness in of itself, right? Gender is the your your belief or your feeling of you know what what gender you are, male, female, non-binary, zer, zim, zay, whatever whatever it may be, right? Some people rarely have XXY or XYY and they are called intersex. Then comes gender. Gender sex se thoda alag hota hai. People love to say that gender is a spectrum, but I think gender is a play of two energies, masculinity and femininity. So, think of sex as in males and females as containers, physical containers, and think of gender as energy contained in these containers, masculine and feminine. I hmm. use the stereotypical colors of blue and pink to denote these just because it's little... testosterone de- testosterone and estrogen real simple generally people assume that males are masculine and females are feminine that is where we need to start because that is not entirely true you probably know from your biology class that human sex is determined by the male sperm because that has a sex chromosome xx or xy the female egg has the potential or like the blueprint to become either male or female and this blueprint has all the information about what kind of man or woman you are going to become when the sperm carrying the sex chromosome fertilizes the egg the specific gender blueprint gets activated but soch ke dekho what happens with the unused one psychologist carl jung ke mutabik ye extra blueprint kahi gayab nahi ho jata ye hamare dimag ke andar unconscious realm mein chhup jata hai isko jung ne anima naam diya tha for males and animus for females you can think of this blueprint as the feminine in every man and the masculine in every woman kabhi kabhi ye i don't know if i if i go along with that bahar aa jata hai ye hamare this is more of like a this, this is more of like a belief though right like a psychological belief हमारे सबकॉन्शियस और कॉन्शियस में मैनिफेस्ट करने लगता है जिससे मेल्स को फेमिनिन एनर्जी एक्सेस करने की शक्ति मिलती है एंड फीमेल्स को मैस्कुलिन यूंग का मानना था कि जब तक हम इस एनर्जी को एक्नॉलेज नहीं करते और अपने आप में इंटीग्रेट नहीं करते हम कभी भी एक बैलेंस्ड इंडिविजुअल नहीं बन सकेंगे इस मुद्दे पे कहा यूंग कहते हैं होलनेस इज नॉट अचीव बाई कटिंग ऑफ अ पोर्शन ऑफ वन बींग बट बाई इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रीज यूंग कहते हैं कि इंटीग्रेशन हमारे एम्पथी को बढ़ाता है ये हमारे ह्यूमन अंडरस्टैंडिंग को रिफाइन करता है एग्जाम्पल के तौर पर एक मेल ऑथर जब एक फीमेल कैरेक्टर को डिस्क्राइब करता है वो यही तो कर रहा है वो अपनी फेमिनिन एनर्जी को चैनल कर रहा है वही एनर्जी जो उसके अंदर छिपी हुई है इसी से उसके राइटिंग में डेप्थ और रियलिज्म आती है क्विंटेंशियल एग्जाम्पल हियर वुड बी आर बिलाफिट कॉबी गुरु रविंद्र नाथ लोग शौक हो जाते हैं कि sure टगोर ने अपनी स्टोरीज में अपने फीमेल कैरेक्टर्स को कितने इंट्रिकेसी से पोर्ट्रे किया था फॉर अ मैन टू अंडरस्टैंड द फेमिन नेचर विद दिस डेप्थ दैट रिक्वायर्स अ डीप कनेक्शन विद योर एनिमल टेक फॉर एग्जांपल हिज डांस ड्रामा चित्रांगदा चित्रांगदा एक वॉरियर प्रिंसेस थी शी वाज स्ट्रांग ब्रेव करेजियस एंड अ ग्रेट फाइटर चित्रांगदा को एक दिन अर्जुन से प्यार हो जाता है बट बिकॉज शी अपियर सो अनफेमिन अर्जुन हैज नो इंटरेस्ट इन हर एंड ही डज नॉट रेसी प्रोकेट हर लव सो वो दुखी हो जाती है एंड शी प्रेज टू अर गॉड ऑफ लव मदन की हे प्रभु मुझे फेमिन सुंदरता दे दो ताकि अर्जुन मुझे स्वीकारे द गॉड लेसन एंड शी ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू दिस ब्यूटिफुल फेमिन अवतार एंड अर्जुन फॉल्स इन लव विथ हर चित्रांगदा इज वेरी हैप्पी 
but eventually she realizes that she has lost a sense of herself. She realizes that the person Arjun loved is not her true self, but a template of a traditionally beautiful woman she became. वो realize करती है कि वो इस सुंदरता और ताकत के इस द्वंद से परे है. उसकी identity उसके attribute से अलग है. She requests Madan to restore her to her original form. And then she delivers a speech to Arjun where she declares her identity and demands recognition not as an idealized woman, but as a real, complex individual. And this line is really powerful. Ami Chitra Angada, Ami Rajendra Nandini. शी सेस कि अर्जुन मैं ना कोई देवी हूँ और ना कोई साधारण औरत ना मेरी आराधना करो ना मेरा तिरस्कार करो ये मैं नहीं हूँ ये मुझसे मत कहो कि मैं तुमसे पीछे चलू मत कहो कि मैं तुम्हारे आगे चलू The reason they didn't uh, translate that because that that was Bengali, not Hindi, and I think these translations are in Hindi. I don't know. मुझे अपने साथ लेकर चलो अपने साथ रहना. That was Bengali, right? Let's do a <coughs> double check that before. Yeah, okay. करो ना मेरा तिरस्कार करो ये मैं नहीं हूँ ये मुझसे मत कहो कि मैं तुमसे पीछे चलू मत कहो कि मैं तुम्हारे आगे चलू मुझे अपने साथ लेकर चलो अपने साथ रहने दो तुम्हारी खुशी में और तुम्हारे दुख में शायद बस तब तुम मेरी अहमियत जानोगे इस व्याख्या से अर्जुन समझते हैं कि प्यार शारीरिक डिफरेंसेस से ऊपर होता है इट इज नॉट द बॉडी यू लव बट द सोल इट्स ऑलमोस्ट पोएटिक जस्टिस की वेन पांडवों को अपना वनवास का तेरवा साल गुप्त में बिताना था अर्जुन हैड टू लिव वन ईयर एज ब्रिहनला अ क्लीबा विच इज अ जेंडर एम्बिग्यूस कैटेगरी इन द वेदास एज ब्रिहनला ही एट द फिजिकल एंड इमोशनल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बोथ मैन एंड वुमन एंड हेंस ही बिकम्स एन अनडिफाइंड थर्ड जेंडर सो ऐसा क्यों है की इट इज नेचुरल फॉर सम पीपल टू ब्लेंड मैस्कुलिटी एंड फेमिनिटी वाइल फॉर others it is unnatural and something that they see in disgust well in a previous section we saw how sex varies with population now let's see how gender varies with population let's say we want to graph how feminine or masculine a society is versus the percentage of population embodying that energy so okay this is interesting less <laughs> the least masculine is the artist from the three idiots okay the alpha literally the alpha <laughs> His his character name is the Alpha or no bad boy gentleman the dude the romantic Kabir War okay so these aren't I I haven't seen any of these movies I I still really haven't gotten into uh, Bollywood movies all too much this is this is <laughs> you can see it though right you you can definitely see it like the portrayal like the stereotypes and and that's that's all it really is it comes down to it man it's like you can't you can't just base you know you can't It, it it you can't just you know focus in on the stereotypes love is love should never be skin deep right it should you should always try to love the person on the inside rather than you know their body but anyways so on the x axis let's go from most feminine to most masculine the popular belief is that all males are 100% masculine and all females are 100% feminine but hmm. there are so many examples which show that women can sometimes be more masculine than some men or some men can be more feminine than some women therefore instead of a polarized graph like this what you'd see in the distribution is something like this दो बम्पी ग्राफ जो कि स्क्यूड हैं ऑन इधर साइड हाउ डू वी इंटरप्रेट दिस मोस्ट मैन आर काइंड अराउंड 80 परसेंट मैस्कुलिन Some are hyper masculine, around 95%, and then we have a thin tail of men being 60% masculine, 40% masculine, and similarly for women. So it's not like all men are masculine and all females are feminine. It's kind of like most men are masculine and most women are feminine. But it is the what is this? <laughs> Tarzan is the most masculine. He was raised by freaking um uh gorillas. It's it's it, it's it's testosterone. It's literally it comes down to testosterone and estrogen, right? Uh that does play a key part. Like it, 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 during, you know, puberty, 
you know, the more testosterone you have is going to determine, you know, certain ways that you act and certain ways that your brains function. Same with estrogen. So these tail ends and these extremes where the differences occur depending on different cultures involvement and, of genetics and, I, and even this i like even this graph i would because there are men women that would you know go all the way to the far spectrum and there'd be men that would go all the way to the other spectrum right like I, I i just don't know this graph is just a little bit too you know too simplified but maybe that's what this video is for this video is more for uh, is more of a simple example simple introduction so Maybe I'm, I'm looking too deep into it. Also, I was kind of hoping to get more of an insight on queerness in India, which eh, it does look like it, it, it gets a little bit into that. So, in psychology, the shape of these graphs can change. In cultures, mein gender roles are strict. Hai, un mein graph kuch aisa laega. The bumps are strictly separate and the overlap is very little. In such cultures, you'll see there is a strict difference between the roles of men and women. Now compare this with cultures where gender is allowed to be flexible. You see that these bumps are flatter and there is a considerable overlap. In these cultures, you'll frequently see women participate in masculine activities, men doing things like cooking foods, washing utensils, and so on. This, around this mid region. Is cooking your own food not considered masculine? <laughs> um, aren't, like, some of the best chefs in the world, the majority of them, all men? Region is where I think gender is androgynous. Some cultures have more people here than others. Let's oh, consider okay. two fictional cultures here. One is in Rekistan with nomadic tribes in it. Another that is next to an abundant water source with lush green plains. Desert Valley tribes are constantly fighting with each other, moving from one place to another in search of water. And in the plains, they have a... This is... The, 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 the AI images being used are a little, a little weird. Like this weird camel thing with the long, like tiger teeth this is very interesting abundance of resources now mera sawal aap se ye hai ki in which of these two cultures do you think gender roles will be more strict where do you think men and women will have more defined roles so in this one yes of course there, there's more conflict going on and in, in, in an area there where there's more conflict of course you would want those that are more able-bodied for conflict and of course you know biologically born men are more able body to be geared towards conflict, right? This is just within the bone structure and the production of testosterone. Again, comes back to testosterone. According to the research by researcher Michelle Gelfond, it is likely that in the desert dwelling culture, gender roles will be more strict. According to Michelle, social norms are kind of the glue that holds a culture together. In cultures where social norms ko strictly follow kiya jata hai, they are called tight cultures. And in cultures where social norms are not tightly enforced are called loose cultures. We generally find that tight cultures are more punctual in general, more hardworking, more disciplined, while loose cultures are more creative. They are more open. What is this? What is this? <laughs> what is this? I'm just like... Is this... This is AI, right? Like... I'm just looking to see... Maybe? I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe it's not AI. I'm just trying to think like what G-O-P-E stands for. I don't know, it's very random. And they are more liberal. According to Michelle's research, it shows that cultures which are exposed to threat or whose primary goal is survival, they lean towards tightness. Therefore, in our example, in the desert culture, where water is rare, resources are limited, tribes are often in conflict over these resources, men and women naturally adopt roles that increase the tribe's overall chances of survival. This is not a society ki crazy, tyrannical imposition. Hai. This is a response to the harsh environments around. In the plains with abundance of resources and less immediate threats, people have the luxury of defining roles more fluidly. Both men and women may participate in farming, in building, in cooking, and in child rearing because survival isn't a question of every minute, every hour. You see, according to psychologist Abraham Maslow, when a ki physiological safety needs meet, ho jati hai, we seek for higher order needs like love, esteem, self actualization ye same cheez societies ke sath bhi hoti hai in the plains jahan survival ensured hai people can indulge in activities that nurture the mind and the spirit it's a culture with space for novelty for diverse expressions of self and 
yes even queerness now imagine if someone from the desert comes to the plains they might find the fluid gender roles and same sex love not just bewildering but even disgusting in tight cultures we expect fellow men and women to ad- this ai image is real rough sorry the AI, the AI, the ai images are are really throwing me out look at this ah uh, that's that's disgusting look at that eye look at that eye here to their social roles on seeing someone violate these norms we almost feel like they are betraying their gender therefore hum ye dekh sakte hain ki cultures jinme feminine and masculine ka kafi zyada overlap hota hai they are generally looser while cultures where the gender roles are strictly separate they have stronger gender roles what is clear is that homosexuality is not a defect it arises as a natural consequence of gender being a spectrum if homosexuality was a defect we wouldn't see it literally in every part of the world across every time period Nat- yeah i mean it's it's something that's been around for our, you know basically our entire existence right is is humanity natural selection would have eliminated it already listen to me just 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 to explain myself a little bit more to me i don't i don't care you can love who you want to love right um that doesn't you know change my mindset on you i've always been the type of person that uh that says you know it's the content of your character that defines you not who you love not who you're you know who you vote for politically not what you look like not who what you identify as what defines you is the content of your character are you a good person i will treat you like a good person are you a bad person i will treat you like a bad person that's that's what it comes down to like no, nothing else matters to me nothing else matters to me you can be gay that's perfectly fine you know <sighs> but there's a lot of people that you know are upset by that but still what is unclear is why does it even exist in nature like it makes no sense homosexuality does not help in the propagation of the species two males or two females cannot have a child together so what is the point of such a relationship well it's it's the it's it's a result of you know our consciousness right it's it's something that we we do as humans because we are on a higher level of consciousness than you know like a standard animal right <laughs> i mean that that's that's always been my understanding it's you know our consciousness it's our soul uh we can actually you know think and feel and connect and of course those connections you know can shape and change us in many different ways and i draw from hindu law here that the purpose of marriage or the, the object of dampatya is a child is procreation you see i empathize with people who think this way maybe sex between a man and a woman is considered good because it helps nature move forward it is considered productive which is why the union of a man and a woman is considered sacred in religions without the legitimacy of nature homosexuality seems like a weird thing to exist well i have three theories to why homosexuality could exist The first one is population control theory. This theory proposes that homosexuality occurs in nature as a method of population control. It suggests ki jab ek species ki population bahut zyada ho jati hai to homosexuality organically emerge karta hai to limit the birth rate. It sounds plausible but the critics of this theory argue that this theory does not explain why homosexuality then persists in species with stable or even declining populations. Hmm. That's a very tempting error not with respect to homosexuality but with respect to the idea that nature does population control. That's not the way nature works. Yeah. It's so tempting to to think Think, oh well things will be best for the species so nature will do whatever it takes to keep the species going and that's just not the way evolution works is it or so that that's that way that first theory is like that would would only really work if there was uh, i don't know something you know guiding humanity in in such a way right like we're on a roller coaster uh, or we go we're you know just we're on a we're on a set track which i i i don't think we're on a set track as humanity thoda advanced theory hai the gay uncle theory this theory posits that homosexuality evolved to promote social cohesion and risk 
The gay uncle hypothesis, I've never heard of this before. The gay uncle hypothesis uh, posits that people who themselves do not have children may nonetheless increase the prevalence of their family's genes in future generations by providing resources to the offspring of the closest relative. Huh. Source allocation within communities. This is also known as the helper in the nest hypothesis. It suggests that homosexual individuals might help their brothers and sisters in raising offspring. And then I mean that's just, you know, family. That's just community. We should all come together to raise, you know, offspring. I don't I don't know about that one either. Before promoting the survival of their family genes. So um, individuals uh, that are attracted to the same sex are frequently imagined to evolve uh, because they provide help to their uh, to their kin. That is, if there are some people in any social group uh, that are non-reproductive because of their sexual uh, preferences, then they'll be uh, helping with raising of their nieces and nephews. Critics of this theory say that this is too simplistic. Not it is all homosexual simplistic. people choose to or are even in the position to support their siblings' offspring. Yeah. Uh, the problem with that idea is that it should actually lead to a kind of uh, uh, asexual phenotype or an asexual behavior. It doesn't actually describe uh, uh, the evolution of sexual attraction itself. And then there is a third theory. Theory that homosexuality is a natural byproduct of evolution. Is theory ke mutabik, homosexuality is an inherent aspect of human diversity, much like art or literature. According to this theory, th th this is what I think. This this is this is probably closest to what I feel. The aspect of human nature is not geared towards procreation. Some may serve other purpose, for example, promoting creativity, empathy, cooperation. This theory suggests that homosexuality provides unique perspectives to people that enriches overall human culture and relationships. If you think about it, in many creative and artistic fields, mein you'll see queer people outnumber straight people. Think about fashion designers, dancers, artists, musicians, even tech founders. Well, certainly, it's not that every queer person is creative, nor is it that every creative person is queer. But it cannot be denied that queerness has a deep connection with creativity. I say this in every video essay, but Virginia Woolf in her groundbreaking essay, A Room of One's Own, she says, that the most creative minds are androgynous. They are capable of embracing both masculine and feminine energies. Virginia was queer herself and probably she experienced firsthand how these two energies help you create things. The masculine energy is called Yang in Chinese philosophy or Purusha in Hindu philosophy. This is what gives mm -hmm. us strength, reason, action, and assertiveness. This energy, ke se, we get the ability to take brave new decisions. It helps us analyze things, break down our concepts into its finer subsystems. On the other hand, feminine energy, which in Chinese philosophy is yin and in Hindu philosophy mein prakriti, is all about intuition, nurture, sensitivity, and empathy. Feminine energy hame apne andar jhaakne ka avsar deti hai. Ye hame shakti deti hai dousron ko samajhne ki, sunne ki. It is the feminine energy jiske badolat humare art ko ek depth aur complexity milta hai. Jab aap society ke accepted dairon se bahar rehte ho, to aapko apni ek alag perspective banani hi padti hai. Aap dunya ko ek aisi drishti kon se dekh sakte ho, jo baaki log dunya ke dairon mein rehkar nahi dekh sakte. And that, my friends, is the essence of creativity. To see the world in a way that others don't. Another aspect of art that gives it meaning is suffering. The famous artist Banksy says that the purpose of art should be to comfort the disturbed and to disturb the comfortable. The best form of art heals the world. It makes people see the world differently. When we recover from our lives, we use new perspectives to change our life. We find new ways to channel our energy. Art is just that. Instead of just healing yourself, you heal the entire world. You use your suffering to empathize with others. You create art so that no one has to suffer what you suffered alone. Maybe that is why queer people have always brought new things into this world. Take for example Alan Turing, the father of modern computing. He was a British mathematician who was known for his pioneering work in AI, cryptography and algorithms. During the World War II, he had developed a machine that could decode encrypted German messages. This was crucial in Britain's victory. Despite 
that was this is, that's the Al, the Turing story. The Alan Turing story is fantastic. It's phenomenal. Despite such major contributions, he faced persecution for his sexuality, which was illegal in UK at that time. Therefore, it is poetic justice that in 2021, the UK introduced its first 50 pound note with Turing's photograph in it. Or take Ritu Porno Ghosh, for example, the award winning director, actor, writer, lyricist who changed the entire landscape of modern Bengali filmmaking. He created such a unique kind of storytelling that was filled with realistic characters, relatable characters, without a lot of unnecessary masala. Often compared to Shatuji Tre, Rituda embraced his queerness and often used it to tell his stories. She struggled this condition to be a man. That's how she's brought up. She struggled that you can choose your gender. Or take the athlete, Duti Chand, for example. She has brought so many laurels to India. She is the first Indian to win a gold medal in 100m race. When the Supreme Court decriminalized same sex relationships in 2018, Duti became the first ever openly queer athlete as she publicly stated that she was in a same-sex relationship. Most people think that this homosexuality stuff is just an urban Gen Z thing. But look at her. She comes from a poor family in Odisha. And yet she feels... A Gen Z thing. <laughs> an urban Gen Z thing. I, I will say Gen Z does embrace queerness, sexuality, and gender ideology very, very prevalently. Um... Oh, much, oh, much so that, you know, to a point where I, it, it, it does come off as, you know, they're just, they're, they're using it as a fad. Some of them, some people are kind of, you know, using it as a fad, but no queerness and, and all that, it just, it's like I said, it's been around forever. It's just, you know, before there's a lot more pro, uh, persecution for it. So with the world being more open now, people you know, are allowed to be more open, so you see it more often. Confident in asserting her identity. For me, it's the same thing for the world, but it's not the same for everyone. It's not the same for everyone. It's the same for everyone. We were talking about that you're a celebrity, you're a society, you don't have this thing. You'll hear someone or you'll know, and you'll know, and then you'll blame me. So leave this path. But I love everyone. No one doesn't want to leave. So that's why I told you that I don't want to leave this path. So that's why I told you that I don't want to leave this path. So that's why I told you that Despite the many laurels queer people have brought to India, publicly they are still met with a lot of disgust. <laughs> disgust cheesy as he is. Paul Rosen, the researcher we previously talked about, also gives us a practical demo. ये चेरी का बोल देखो है ना स्वादिष्ट इससे कोई भी चट करके खा जाएगा मगर इसमें अगर हम एक कॉकरोच डाल दें तो इसे कोई हाथ लगाना तो दूर देखेगा भी नहीं. The AI images are so weird, dude. The, the AI images are, are pulling me out. <laughs> I'm not a fan. On the reverse, if we add a bowl of cockroaches, cherry dal dein, to that does not have any effect. Somehow this whole bowl does not become appealing because of this cherry. What he's trying to say is that no matter what we just feel like we 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 feel like the entire person is apavitra. Lagta hai. People therefore find it extremely hard to believe that why why is it why is gayness always associated with like multicolored hair is that, can someone explain that to me hame the entire insaan apavitra lagta hai people therefore find it extremely hard to believe ki queerness was such a normal part of sanatan at a time when the british and the muslims had not ruled india for example did you know that in the kama sutra there is a whole chapter dedicated to queer acts the book mentions that lesbians were called swarinis these women often married other women and raised children together they were also readily accepted both within the third gender community and ordinary society acha i am reminded of a story here According to a Tamil legend, it is told that एक बार ऋषि भृंगी कैलाश पर्वत की यात्रा करने गए थे to pay darshan to his ishd dev Lord Shiva. जब भी कोई शिवजी के दर्शन करने जाता तो generally वो शिवजी और माता पार्वती दोनों की परिक्रमा लेता परिक्रमा एज एन एक चक्कर बट ऋषि भृंगी इतने ज्यादा डिवोटेड थे टू लॉर्ड शिवा कि उन्होंने ये इंसिस्ट किया कि वो बस शिवजी की ही परिक्रमा लेंगे माता पार्वती की नहीं सो so, माता पार्वती ऋषि भृंगी को देखी और शी सेड ऋषि भृंगी शिवजी और मैं एक सत्य के ही दो पहलू हैं अगर आप उनकी परिक्रमा करेंगे तो आपको मेरी परिक्रमा भी करनी होगी भृंगी थे एडमेंट उन्होंने एक भवरे का रूप ले लिया और केवल शिव के सर की ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू अ बी 
परिक्रमा करने की कोशिश की शिवजी और माता पार्वती हैड इनफ ऑफ इट दे डिसाइडेड कि वो ऋषि भृंगी को अपना पूर्ण स्वरूप दिखाएंगे एंड दैट इज वेन दे बोथ यूनाइटेड एंड क्रिएटेड द अर्धनारेश्वर रूप वन फॉर्म दैट वॉज हाफ शिवा एंड हाफ पार्वती अ यूनियन ऑफ द मैस्कुल एंड द फेमिन ऋषि भृंगी इतने अंधकार में थे कि उन्होंने तब भी शक्ति को शिवजी के तुल्य नहीं माना उन्होंने एक चूहे का रूप धारण करके उन दोनों के बीच में जाने का कोशिश किया अब शिव एंड शक्ति हैड इनफ ऑफ इट वो इतने एनरेज हो गए कि उन्होंने ऋषि भृंगी को श्राप दे दिया उन्होंने कहा कि ऋषि भृंगी आपके शरीर में जो भी फेमिन से उत्पन्न हुआ है वो डिसॉल्व हो जाए तंत्र विद्या में ऐसे माना गया है कि बॉडी के सारे टफ पोर्शन जैसे कि हमारे बोन्स एंड हमारे नर्व दे कम फ्रॉम द फादर वाइल द सॉफ्ट एंड फ्लूड पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी सच एज द फ्लैश एंड द ब्लड दे कम फ्रॉम द मदर सो इंस्टेंटली ऋषि भृंगी लॉस्ट ऑल हिज फ्लैश एंड ब्लड एंड ही बिकेम अ बैग ऑफ बोन्स दिस स्टोरी टेल्स यू हाउ स्ट्रॉन्गली द concept of unity of masculinity and femininity is part of our culture i'm reminded of another story batao this is from mahabharat again this is the story of eravan the brave son of arjuna and ulupi ha ha mujhe pata hai bahut sare wives the four wives the draupadi chitrangada ulupi and subhadra abhimanyu being arjuna and subhadra ka son and eravan being arjuna and ulupi son ulupi was a nagkanya by the way anyway we are getting deviated so vedvyas ji ke story ke mutabik eravan was just a side character but in tamil culture there is a very interesting story about him in the tamil version of the mahabharata called the bharata vendpa Which was written by the Tamil poet Perundu Venar. Mahabharat की कहानी में एक ऐसा समय आया था जब पांडवों को लग रहा था कि वो युद्ध हार जाएंगे तंत्र साधना में एक रिचुअल था दैट वुड एंश्योर विक्ट्री इन द बैटल इट वॉज कॉल्ड काल पल्ली इस रिचुअल में माना जाता था कि अगर किसी राजपुत्र की बलि दी जाए तो युद्ध जीतना निश्चित हो जाएगा बट तब ये सवाल उठा कि आखिर खुद की बलि देगा कौन ऐसा कहा जाता है कि तब अर्जुन के पुत्र इरावन उस समय आगे आए और उन्होंने खुद की बलि देने की इच्छा जताई इरावन अपनी बलि देने के लिए तो राजी हो गए लेकिन उन्होंने एक शर्त रखी इरावन ने कहा की वो अविवाहित नहीं मरना चाहते थे ही वॉन्टेड टू डाई अ glorious death a death of a hero and us samay pe bachelors were buried and only married men were given proper funeral rites to fir naturally sawal utha ki is samay iravan se kaun ladki shaadi karegi aisa kaun hoga jo aise insaan se shaadi karega jo ek hi din mein marne wala hai kaha jata hai ki tab shri krishna ne mohini ka roop dharan kiya aur iravan se shaadi kar li fir agle din jab iravan ki mrityu ho gayi to krishna in his female avatar also mourned his death after one day he came back to his mask फॉर्म आपको ये जान के हैरानी होगी कि एवरी ईयर आज तक इन द मंथ ऑफ चैत्र थाउजेंड ऑफ ट्रांसजेंडर्स अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड गैदर इन स्मॉल विलेज कॉल्ड कुवगम इन तमिलनाडु फॉर 18 डेज टू सेलिब्रेट द कुवगम फेस्टिवल इट टेक्स प्लेस नाउ सी दिस इज द स्टफ दैट आई वांटेड टू नो अबाउट स्पेसिफिकली लाइक द अम the indian perspective on queerness and 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 gender and stuff like that it is the, the back end of the video but no this is this is this is this is interesting in tamil nadu for 18 days to celebrate the kuvagam festival it takes place at the shri kutandavar temple which is dedicated to iravan in the worship all these people would dress up and become brides to iravan and the next day they would actually profusely cry break their bangles and then mourn his death When India came under the Islamic law really cool. by Alamgiri, the Mughal Empire mandated very harsh punishments for homosexuality. A slave for the Pachas Kode, Kafiron for the Saw Kode. Yeah, I was going to say because this is Muslim. I know uh, the Abrahamic beliefs tend to uh, be a little bit more harsh on uh, on queerness. And Muslims for the death by stoning. In Christianity too, homosexuality was considered a sin, and therefore under the Victorian law, it was outlawed. under section 377 centuries of making queer people criminals has brought us here today where we ironically see queerness as a foreign concept not something from this country a lot of people think queer people are against indian values traditions and they have no respect for religion even though queerness was a normal concept in hindu uh, all right so i'm i'm all for like posting uh so what what does this say owner of soft porn app uh interesting I'm all for like posting like this sort of stuff but I I am a fan of of you know blocking out the names <laughs> whenever I die, I uh, like I you know take a screenshot of a comment or a post uh, if as long as like it, it is I'm like critiquing it or talking about it cuz I you know you don't want any hate mobs going after the person even if you don't agree with them 
organizations and they have no respect for religion. Even most of LGBTQ activists in India also are leftists because in their view, LGBT people should be. Even though queerness was a normal concept in Hindu culture once, modern day Hindus feel that queerness makes us weak as a society. In heated hmm. arguments online, you will often hear this. If we allow homosexuality, people will start having sex with animals. They will have sex with children. This is the start of something bad. The underlying concern here is that queerness is seen as the first step towards a moral collapse of society. The line of thinking is called slippery slope, slope argument. It follows the pattern that if X allow X, then people will do Y. Bhi lag For example, if people eat pizza with pineapple, then people... Listen, pizza with pineapple is amazing. I prefer my pizza with pineapple, I'm just saying. फिर पिज्जा विद आइसक्रीम एंड शू पॉलिश भी खाने लग जाएंगे अगर लोग हेयर कट करना शुरू कर देंगे तो लोग फिर अपना आईब्रो और आईलैश भी शेव आई नीड आई नीड टू कट माय हेयर आई नीड टू कट माय हेयर शेव इट ऑफ आई माइट इवन जस्ट गो कंप्लीटली बाल्ड हु नोस करने लग जाएंगे इन ईच ऑफ द स्लिपरी स्लोप आर्ग्युमेंट समथिंग इज नीटली ओमिटेड एंड एन अब्सर्ड एग्जैजरेशन इज मेड फॉर एग्जांपल शू पॉलिश इज नॉट इवन एडिबल हेयर कट करना समहाउ डज नॉट इंड्यूस दिस ऑब्सेशन इन is shoe polish not edible i think i think to an extent it probably is people to shave every part of your body similarly the reason homosexuality is not to be directly equated with bestiality or pedophilia is because the key to every physical relationship is consent consent is what separates love from sexual assault in case of pedophilia and bestiality neither a child nor an animal can fully comprehend the implications of sexual activity and cannot consent to the act which makes it fundamentally wrong and therefore it cannot be equated to what two consenting adults do in their private life it is a good opportunity to talk about how disgust is practically unavoidable in nature we think nature is beautiful we think it is pristine but nature is not just pretty landscapes pretty houses beauty nature is also malaria nature is death nature is cholera nature is all that icky oh, stuff don't touch disgust it. is built into nature <laughs> and disgust is built uh that is uh from 2004's king kong movie that is not actually nature just saying into us humans not we spit we drool we are disgusting ourselves and we do so much to hide that sometimes when we are in the receive no indians or dogs allowed what kind of sign is this being end of disgust it feels so unfair for example some people get disgusted by our food habits some westerners find indians eating with their hands extremely disgusting what are you talking about what eating with your hands is fucking disgusting this comes from a guy who always eats with a fork whatever the meal is no this is a troll this is a troll this is 100% a troll this guy is 100% a troll this uh, <laughs> hamburgers hot dogs pizza you name it i always eat with a fork 100% this guy is a troll i i'm not even going to bother Still, reading it maybe the answer here is to acknowledge that disgust is a normal part of life nature is disgusting and so are we Are we disgusting? मैं आपको किसी से मिलाना चाहता हूँ ये है आर वी मल्होत्रा अ यंग फिफ्टीन ईयर ओल्ड किड फ्रॉम फरीदाबाद आर वी वॉज एम्बिशियस क्रिएटिव एंड ही वॉज प्राउड ऑफ हिज आइडेंटिटी एंड दिस इज हिज स्टोरी आर वी को आर्ट पसंद था ही लाइक म्यूजिक ही लाइक फैशन वो अपने मम्मा के साथ मिलकर मेकअप करता और ज्वेलरी डिजाइन करता But because we as a society expect boys to play sports and not do these feminine things, he became an easy target for bullying in his school. आरवी की मम्मा उसके स्कूल में टीचर थी उन्हें जब पता चला कि आरवी के क्लासमेट्स उसे सताते थे परेशान करते थे गंदे नाम बुलाते थे शी ट्राई टू इंटरवीन बट शी वॉज मेट विद डिसमिसिव रेस्पॉन्सेज फ्रॉम द स्कूल स्कूल में आरवी का बुलिंग बढ़ते गया वन डे ही फेस अ हॉरिफिक सेक्शुअल असोल्ट दैट लेफ्ट हिम ट्रामेटाइज बट स्टिल द स्कूल डिड नॉट डू एनी थिंग आरवी को डिसलेक्सिया था उसको डिप्रेशन था एक बच्चा आखिर अकेले कितना सहता देन ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ फेबरी RV did the unthinkable from the terrace of his building he jumped and took his own life he left a note for his mother even in his last moments he told her mama mama you are the best mom on this planet i'm sorry i couldn't be more brave this school has killed me i can't live in this hateful world aaj tak RV ki mummy aarti ji courts ke dhakke kha rahi hain apne bacche ko insaaf dilane ke liye RV आज तुम्हारी कहानी से हजारों बच्चे वाकिफ हैं एंड बिकॉज ऑफ यू दे आर लर्निंग टू स्पीक अप डियर आर वी काश मैं तुम्हें बता पाता कि यू आर नॉट डर्टी 
you are not impure the things that society thinks are disgusting about you will also be the same things that one day it celebrates you for tumne apne note mein kaha tha ki tum brave nahi ho but bravery isn't just about enduring pain and humiliation it is also about being true to who you are despite the world telling you otherwise and avi i want to tell you that you were brave god made zero mistakes in creating you i would have told you not to let anyone define your self worth hmm. i wish we as a country felt more i mean that was that was pretty heavy but um yeah that's an unfortunate reality unfortunately i mean you when you face you know constant persecution and bullying you sometimes feel like there's just no end to it and the only thing you can do is you know end it all and confident about who we are our greatness does not shake if a few boys wear lipsticks or a few girls love to lift weights in fact hamari diversity hamari ethnic diversity mental diversity spiritual diversity and sexual diversity are what make us so dynamic remember it gets better remember that a bad day is not a bad life love yourself and trust the universe because it always listens that was a rather long video essay i hope it could connect with some of you I want to thank each and one of you for supporting India and Pixels despite me not posting videos for months all together. I look forward to all the comments you leave and all the messages I get. So thank you so 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 much. I want to thank Priyadarshini Prasad, Mohua Moitra, Anish Ghosh, Shantanu Banerjee, Shomal Inya Tarafdar, Krishna Kamal Das, Mayur Rathod, Kunal Rathod, Nupur Guliani, Narasimha Murthy, NFT Wala, Siddharth Mukherjee, Spurti, PSI Boy, Thomas Tushar Datta, Gandev and Sahil Sharma. Thank you everyone for supporting me and I'll be back soon with a new video essay. Cool. If you like this, please do subscribe and in the comment section let me know your thoughts. Well, that was India in Pixels. Let's understand queerness. I I will say I was kind of hoping for a more perspective, I guess, on on how queerness is handled in India. He did a pretty good job um explaining it like a very uh, I would say a very simplistic way of explaining queerness to people that may not quite understand it. Um and I mean he did throw in, you know, some some stories, you know, from from India, which which is great. Those those are the parts that I like the most <laughs> from the video. Um but still again, I just I I feel like there could have been a little bit more. I guess uh but that that's just me as a foreigner right that's that's someone trying to learn more about India I think this one this video was specifically made for people in India to help uh talk about the queer about queerness so it, it's it's slightly different slightly different right slightly dem, dem, demographic it was aiming for but yeah nonetheless again um it's still what I what I think still stands, you know, uh, your queerness doesn't define you. Um, you know, it's your character. It's your, 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 your character that defines you for me at the very least, right? Is a good person? I'll treat you like a good person. So, um, I am interested to see some comments. Uh, 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 before I get to the comments, one thing I will say that took me out of it a lot was the AI images. I'm not a big fan of AI images, so when I... Like, the majority of the videos... The majority of the video was AI images, unfortunately. I'm not a very big fan. You can... It, at least it is noticeable from what I've seen in some of the, the images here, but... Shouldn't let that detract from the video in itself, right? Okay, time to read some comments. Uh, first one, what a beautiful video. The music, the AI images... Again, I didn't like the AI. Uh, personally, I didn't like the AI images. The research very much on point. It's not easy to deal with such complex topics that are going to offend someone or other people. I hope you continue making more of such videos in the future. Kudos to you. How did this man find a cure for, to queer phobia and explain it in one single video? A, a cure to queer phobia. Would you consider that? I don't know. Uh, I don't think it really tackled anything like, I don't know. 
<laughs> maybe that's because I've I've never really had a problem with queer pe- people, so maybe I just that that like that this you know a cure to queer phobia kind of I glossed over it. I don't I don't know. Saddest thing is the people who need to watch this they won't though they will skip, but they know. They won't know how this video is not just about queerness or psychology, but so much more India and Pixels by, uh, how, how, do you, how do you pronounce this name? Uh, Asis is more of the more, is one of my most favorite YouTube channels to help you grow more. I am a queer woman from Faridabad. I never knew this. I wish I knew him and I could have provided support. Let him, let him know he wasn't alone. RV, I hope I'll be your elder sister in your next life. Yeah, that was, that was actually pretty sad. Um... Suicide is, is, sorry, suicide is just always really tough. I don't, I don't even know the guy, but I feel bad for him. Um, I'm going to scroll a little bit. You're a gift to Indian YouTube com- community. I had no idea for Ellis combined with your voice would be so calming, even on topics like this. Great one. I wonder why people are spending way too much time on useless activities on the internet. Instead of spreading hate, they should have used that time to watch this video. Not only this one, all of them. I feel lucky to find this channel. I learned a lot from you and your team. Phenomenal, you dissected and dismantled queer phobia in the most beautiful, empathetic way possible without diminishing any section of society. This genius work of art, up, up, and beyond, dear creator. Dismantle queer phobia. I, I, maybe I just didn't get that from this video. I, I, I really don't... Um, I really did not get that a dismantling of queer phobia from this video. Hmm... I don't know. Um, scroll down a little bit more. Thank you for discussing this complex subject with such nuance and empathy. I appreciate how you weaved in the rich tapestry of culture and human condition. You're doing God's work, brother. Thank you for the educating people. Um, hats off to you. This is the best video I've watched until now about queerness. This is what the way you explain the emotional, biological, social sexual cultural aspects towards this topic is incredible you literally brought tears to the eyes by telling avery's story thanks for putting so much effort in this video you nailed it hmm okay interesting 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 very interesting um a couple new comments this theory is so stupid. Homosexuality isn't imp- impotence. Homosexual people still do have kids with surrogacy. Was that? Uh, okay, that's true. They do a lot of uh, a lot of uh, gay people do have have kids still. Uh, if the only reason to get married is to procreate and raise children, once the JSD child once the child grows up, he should leave the wife. <laughs> He was talking about nature. That's how nature works. I can listen to this man all day. Um, I can say it is a it is a best video about queerness and LGBTQ on the entire internet. Thank you for sharing the message. It really means uh, a lot to so many. <laughs> Why are you gay? <laughs> Why are you not gay? Because I identify myself as straight. But how do you realize this and who taught you to be straight? Why are you like this? I learned it from the U.S. <laughs> what <laughs> okay what an eye-opener video this video should be seen by those sanatan dharma activists who think queerness is a foreign concept i mean queerness has always been rooted in in ancient times right and it's just so it's i i was expecting to learn more about queerness in india you know its origins and and what that I mean, he can't, he did go over some of the stories, but I mean, it's it's always been around in every culture, basically. Huh. Okay. Well, um, ew. <laughs> the video begins with the topic of disgust. 
most BS video ever. Please chore de do ya BS promote Karna? What? Do you know if a woman have many kids, the younger children are more likely to be homosexual because of many reasons? What? Huh? WTF, I was too stupid, you got me, now it's time to think. I'm halfway through the video and this one is the best video on the internet. The way he explains the whole thing is really amazing. I especially love the part in which you asked to think of gender as energy. Uh, yeah, the energy stuff, I don't know. So that's that's not, not something I necessarily think is the case. So maybe maybe it, it's there's some. Ah, see. An energy, huh? Well, if you think of your consciousness as an energy, maybe. That's something I'd have to sit and meditate on. To think about. Uh, it's, I've not, I've not, may, maybe, maybe. That, I don't know, man. That's something I'd have to think about. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, uh, this was Indian Pixels. I am curious to see what some of his other videos are and what they're about. Um, apparently, I started watching this one. Where are they now? Indians from 1967. The richest Indian state. Top 20 batsmen ranked by total fours in ODIs. He's got a wide variety of videos. He's got everything from cricket to uh, historical stuff to queer stuff. <laughs> Why Tagore was a genius. Who is this? Illustrated with AI. Another AI video. What is this? Adwa Adwadi? The language of Ayadia? What is... Wait. What is this? Oh, gosh. I have no idea what happened there. Huh. The Adwadi language is spoken in Adwad region of modern-day Uttar Pradesh, some parts of Nepal, and even... In faraway lands of Fiji, Guyana, and Suri Suriname, it is a language in which uh, poet Malik Muhammad Joshua and Goswami Tulsad, Tulsad wrote. Okay. Hmm. I'll add it to the list. <laughs> uh, with that being said, everybody, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good one, yeah? Uh, if you have any recommendations... Please let me know down below. I'm trying to get to them. I do have a wide variety of videos that I'm going to be reacting to. Uh, everything from historical stuff to uh, geography stuff to modern day political stuff uh, to things about railway stations, things about cricket. There's a cricket video I want to react to. I know someone, so a few people have come up and talked to me and asked me about cricket. I don't know much about cricket, but <laughs> I'm willing to learn. And apparently I found out that the U.S. has a team. And apparently here in uh, the, ne the next month or so from the time of the release of this video, um, they're going to be holding like the T20 World Cup or whatever that is. So I need, I need to look into it because I had no idea. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment. And of course, if you want to see the original video, it will be linked down below. Anyways, take care. Goodbye.